build that can even win Xenos, I believe. Absolutely. I believe King Alex won a Xeno before. But Absolutely. Yeah. So, and right here, Ridley versus uh, Ridley versus Mega Man. Obviously, on paper, such a tier difference and such a ability to absolutely smother from a range. Mega Man's going to be seen with a clear disadvantage, so it's really going to be a matter of uh, using Ridley's tools, like uh, their triple jump and like their unique command grab, to try and find pockets to where you can blow up Mega Man zoning. Yeah, and honestly, I feel like Mega Man is one of those characters that there aren't that many of them in Tri-State. There's like a good, there's King Arc, Maverick Hunter. And if you're not familiar with how to go against um, Mega Man itself, you're going to be kind of lost. You're going to be caught up in a lot of setups, which is exactly what we saw King Arc do flawlessly here at um, Dread Solar Beam's first stop. Oh, and look at that. You've seen the down air to tech chase on the platform. Clearly, their combo game is not rusty, despite not being in a tournament for quite some time. And back there at Shield, it seems like uh, Solar Beam has had zero time to ever even, like, get their footing to figure out how to counterplay because King Arc is just smothering him. Right, exactly. I couldn't have said it any better. Solar Beam is just unable to do Ridley things just because King Arc is just doing so good as um, not letting him land, not letting him figure out what to do. Okay, oh, that fair ledge into the grab. This is a one chance now finally to get some footing. It's going to be so crucial that you hold this ledge trap mm -hmm. and that's one way to hold it. Getting the kill at really early percents. I think Mega Man was at like 85 or something. Yeah. One strong up smash. Absolutely, and that's definitely one of Ridley's um, advantages. Um, and if we get to see that more, even if King Arc or Mega Man is not at a higher percentage, a good smash attack would be enough to take the stock. I mean, look at uh, Ridley at 150 right now. King Arc still unable to uh, take the stock. Now, F smashing on ledge. It's going to be so good because that totally shuts down that side B. Game punished right there. No. Okay. Yeah, this is exactly where uh, Solar Beam did manage to shine, was getting King Arc on the ledge, but King Arc escaping with that leaf shield. I think Solar Beam definitely has a really solid punish game and awareness of like how to deal with Mega Man once on hit, but it's just been the struggle of getting that first hit in. It seems like probably like 10 hits King Arc gets, Solar Beam gets one. Yeah, and can I just mention how confident King Arc's play is? He knows exactly what to do. He knows exactly when to throw everything. And I really love how his confidence and how his um, mastery of this character is just pulling through or like shining through with this uh, play. Wow, and oh, almost wow. a really early kill right there. Going deep, exactly what you need to do as Solar Beam gets the stock. And this is not nearly as bad as uh, it may have seemed from the start of the match. Solar Beam's punish game has been so good as we've seen. So if you can get an opening somehow, okay, yeah, definitely, <laughs> you, you can bring this back. We always need that little breather. Like, oh, okay, is what we're saying gonna be accurate? Yeah, King Arc is just doing so good at just pushing Solar Beam away from the stage, not letting them back. But again. The moment Solar Beam catches something, he got the down tilt in the back air, but... Oh, oh. Oh. Ooh, that would could have been so big if he got that grab right there, but... Absolutely, and yeah. Honestly, that was really good play on Solar Beam, just their ability to adapt into uh, Mega Man as fast as they did. Realizing that they had a huge advantage coming back onto stage and doing something with returning the stage and using that to their advantage. Yeah, I completely agree. I think Solar Beam, you know, I, th well, I don't know if they got exactly zero to death off the start, but they started off, yeah, 16% dying. Um, you know, you start off that game so rough and managed to bring it back to relatively close. So I think you gotta be kind of confident going into game two that you do have a chance to get this upset. And we here we are at Lila Cruz. Lila Cruz, that's the name, yes. right? Yeah, things that we saw in the last game, we saw King Arc play incredibly confident and um, Solar Beam having a little bit of difficulty. But right now, unlike the previous game, very equal already in the beginning, which is incredibly essential in just figuring out their um, where they go and how they do things. And Yeah, and honestly, Solar Beam, um, Beam with a percent lead for the first time this set, 
actually can maybe change up how they're playing because now King Ark's the one who's got to close the gap. But it looks like King Ark is doing that just now. Oh, 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 oh what? That was like a good 90. Yeah, Ridley, not as heavy as his size may imply. Um, oh, oh, wow. Wow. What a great call out, knowing right. that you can dash attack item throws and you will catch it before getting hit. And super even stuff right here, but this combo, oh my gosh. I think that down it would cover all of Ridley's options with how big he is. Absolutely. 59, 60% on the board for Solar Beam. Honestly, in the blink of an eye, a single hit um, allowed King Art to um, build off of that. And right here, this is such a crucial moment in the match because this could either be King Arc getting another opening and it resulting in a stock, or Solar Beam getting an opening and closing this percent gap a bit. And so it's super important for Solar Beam to really clutch up right here. And it looks like they might be doing that. Wow, um, just a little bit before, Solar Beam or like Ridley's back air was enough to hit King Art. So, when they were so like, far from the ledge, like right from right where King Ark's right now, the backer was able to hit in the previous thing. Oh, and I think King Ark might have meant to back it right there and that would have killed. Oh, not the strong hit for that. Oh, what a beautiful spacing on that and recovery. Yeah. And a stock lead for the first time coming here from Solar Beam. Maybe this counter pick of Lilac coming to effect a bit, you know, the uh, slants make it so you can't shut down a really clear space as Mega Man. Yeah, and then we see moves like Side B and Dash Attack taking stocks off of King Ark incredibly fast. And King Ark having to do a bit more work just to take Ridley out. Yeah, we see King Ark playing a little bit more safe, a little bit, not, not as fast paced as he was playing in the first stock, but kind of testing um, Solar Beam's options, testing what he's going to do before committing to something. Yeah, I think that's mostly in part due because now King Ark knows what can happen if he messes up. He's going to be playing more cautious, and it's going to be up to Solar Beam to exploit that. Um, know that King Ark has a bit more fear in him than he did before, and try and get a read on where Mega Man's going to be, but this could be the end of the set right here. Let's see. Ooh! Exactly, the moment you said that, it could have been the end of the set. And you know what? Yeah, that's it. No, 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 no never mind, never mind, never mind. A False little alarm. bit too heavy right there, Mega Man. Big boy himself. One more of those things would probably take it, or maybe a dash attack. And King Ark's aware of that. The pressure is on. He has to keep his distance a little bit, not commit to. And you know what? Oof. Ooh, that was close. That was good. Yeah, right there. King Ark, in that last hit situation, just held that Metal Blade in hand for so long. And even though he didn't get a confirm off it, it pushed Solar Beam with the fear of it to the ledge to where he had to do that upbeat back to stage and King Ark could go for a ledge trap where he reacted to that roll beautifully. And yeah, the back air with that much rage, gonna be taking the stock. Great mm -hmm. stuff from Solar Beam though, that's that gotta be a really tough matchup. Um, and he used Ridley's tools really smart to play around that pellet range. He used the down tilt a lot, which is huge, surprisingly huge, and, and used really smart bursts of that side B. Yeah, and um, definitely the switch to Lila benefited Ridley more than it benefited um, Mega Man. A lot of the kill, all, a lot of the moves that wouldn't have normally killed in PS2, like dash attack or side B, defi ooh, definitely killed a lot earlier in Lilat and it was also it added pressure especially when King Ark was at a hundred percent which honestly wouldn't mean so much if you're in PS2 or in some other stages with Lilat it is a um, it is a danger zone 